I'm here with my friend Ifram at a private cocktail event and art exhibition. I want him to tell you a little bit about himself and introduce himself. Well, thank you so much, uh, BIP TV, for being here. My name is Ephraim Marillo Jr. with Lucef Investments Group. We uh, have this event, uh, which is a cocktail uh, and uh, also an art exhibition. Uh, we have our two sponsors here, which is Jam Water, Jan Spring Water, a great water from Jamaica, and also Rome Barcelo from Dominican Republic. They are my number two uh, brands that always support uh, our events, and I'm very happy to have you guys here uh, at an Edge Water, which is the new neighborhood that is growing in Miami. This beautiful view that I have uh, behind me is part of the beautiful skyline that is being reshaped every day with uh, with different buildings, like the one that I have to my right, which is Paraiso Bay, that Jorge Perez is building it from the related group, and this one where we are, which is Bay House, that was built by the Melos, and it's our beautiful building. I would like to also welcome you and thank you for being here. It's an honor to be here and to share your event with you. I'm looking forward to having a great evening and let's let's take a look. Tell me a little bit about what inspired you to put this event together. I'm a real estate guy and uh, and I love to network, but one of my hobbies is to do events. I, I love to have people come together to create possibilities with other entrepreneurs and I love art. One of my passions is to see people create art. So every time that I was coming to this unit, which uh, we own for the past uh, year and a half and we sold it about like uh, about two weeks ago, um, we every time that I was coming, I was getting feeling a little bit depressed for the fact that it was empty. So what I said, I called my, my dear friends and I said, you want to bring your art? And then they did. Uh, we had uh, pieces uh, from uh, from Don Paz, uh, from Joaquin, which uh, which is a Brazilian artist. He's a good friend of mine and he has uh, amazing art uh, that, that, that he, he gets inspired by, by cats. If you see um, each of the, of, of the sections of this art, our piece has art. Also, we have uh, Hazel, which is also a great artist. I love her art. We have four of her pieces here. Forward with Pepe Soto. Pepe is, uh, is also a great friend of mine. I know him for almost 20, 23 years. Uh, Pepe has been, actually his wife, is on, she's right there. Uh, but Pepe is coming very soon. Uh, he gets, in, he's a photographer, and then the way that he did this art, he put it in the computer, and then he, uh, he built more pieces on top of the more graphics on top of the piece so um, it's really amazing how he layers it oh, i yeah. mean you can see the different layers of the artwork throughout it's, it's really amazing. beautiful and, and and i love the fact that that, that he has such a, a good sensitivity with with every single piece uh, uh luis valle is uh, i think i think he has uh, a great uh, uh talent because uh the pieces his pieces are very natural i would like to introduce you guys to luis valle hey how are you doing Hello. luis valle nice to meet you, to meet you. Please share with us a little bit about what your, your artwork's about. Um, well, my work, basically what it is, is it's um, it reflects on like all indigenous cultures. So I kind of get bits and pieces of a lot of different uh, indigenous plank-based cultures from around the world, like uh, Aboriginal, African, pre-Columbian cultures. Um, me, I'm Nicaragua myself, so I kind of get bits and pieces from from the culture around there as well. And I make my own language out of it. And I'm, what I'm doing with the lines and dots is representing like a energy, vibration, and flow and whatnot. So yeah, that's yeah, kind of the, the basis of the work. Here in the hallway, we have a beautiful piece from Aldo Chaparro, which is a Peruvian uh, national. He is a great artist and uh, one of the most famous artists uh, in this uh, art exhibition. It's great to see you. Thank you. Please tell me more about your artwork. It's beautiful. Uh, my artwork, uh, what I brought uh, for this show, it's two different things. I focus on fashion and I also do landscape, uh, landscape fine art. So you saw two pieces over there from my fashion work. This whole room, uh, they're landscape uh, pictures. Uh, mostly South Florida, the, the church here is actually was taken in Denmark. So tell me more about this amazing work you have here. Uh, this work, that this is another one of my uh, landscape and architecture. It's actually a, a comparison between light and absence of light. So the, the black parts are as important as the, the parts of the light. One is completely natural, the other one is completely man-made. So it's the comparison between both of them. This piece is, uh, is a beautiful portrait by Julie Pike. Uh, on the other side we have some more nature. Uh, there's another portrait, a very dark portrait by Eduardo Lopez. And this is an incredible iceberg by a 14-piece series from um, an artist we have called Matias Kessler. I want to show you guys real quickly the view from this unit here. Let's take a walk out to the balcony. I want to welcome you to the to, to the other uh, part of the apartment, uh, this beautiful balcony. As you can see, that that balcony is also our, ours. And, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> That, that, that's, uh, that's the other part of the, of the apartment. As you can see, we have uh, the entire uh, 
um, Skyline here, but also Fisher Island, the Port of Miami, something that Stripe is doing. They're doing a, a really nice building, and also uh, across from it, uh, we uh, we see that they're building uh, something there from, from Civic. Edge Water is growing, and uh, and it's growing uh, at a fast pace. As you can see, Midtown is um, has three developments that are fantastic, and uh, and it's the new uh, Brickle. Mid Midtown is the place where everybody's coming to play. Uh, you have a lot of art. You're close by uh, the design district, and also a couple of blocks to Wynwood, where all the art uh, events are coming very soon for Art Basel. And and it's just a, a beautiful. Not, not only it's just a beautiful view. It's a beautiful location and we're close to everywhere. Uh, I, uh, the vision that we all have uh, for Edgewater is that Edgewater is going to be the next prequel within the next five, six years because uh, everything is happening here and, and I'm very happy that, we, uh, that we're part of the growth of Edgewater. I wanted to thank my good friend Ephraim for inviting us to this amazing event. It was all about art, real estate and great people. Philip, thank you so much for being here, uh, and to your crew as well. We enjoyed uh, to show you the apartment and also to introduce you to a couple of our friends. Uh, we all, you're always welcome to our events and to our property. Thank you so much.